Hello, my name is Christine Crosley and I am the director of the City of Dallas Office of Homeless Solutions. It is a pleasure to introduce you to the St. Jude Center Forest Lane, located at 2920 Forest Lane in Dallas. Through a collaboration between Catholic Housing Initiative and Catholic Charities of Dallas, St. Jude Forest Lane opened in 2018. Over 100 formerly homeless adults ages 55 and older now call St. Jude Center Forest Lane their home. This project is an excellent example of addressing homelessness through permanent supportive housing, and I am delighted to share this video tour with you. Hi, I am Cindy Montgomery, the property manager at St. Jude Center Forest Lane. We welcome you to our home. Thank you. And this is our library where our residents can come in, they can read a book. We have computer classes that we're so proud of. And our residents, it's surprisingly how much they love this and they love to read to the other residents. And this is just a great room of complete silence. We have a CCD bus, so we, we try to get them out and, and have, we want them to have the independence that they need, but we also want to be there to help them because we are 55 and older. We are permanent supportive housing, so we want to make sure that they have everything they possibly need. We have a barber shop. We've had somebody from the Knights of Malta that's offered to give free haircuts once a month, so they can be so proud of themselves because we're proud of them no matter what. Well, now I'm so excited to show you what we call our big room. When we first started, the residents would come in here they kind of all sit apart, they kind of look at each other. And it was a great day when one day we came in and they were sitting together and they were chatting and they were talking about things and they were laughing. The laughter in this room, when you hear the laughter coming out of this room, you know that they've made their home here. Out of all the rooms, this is my favorite because here is where they found their family. And now we're in our chapel that we're so proud of that the residents can come anytime they want to. It's open 24 hours a day. We have our gym where the residents can come in any time of the day. This is probably one of the most exciting times is when you invite somebody into their home for the first time because they've been living on the streets or they've been living in a shelter. And to see the excitement and just watching their eyes as they look around and when you tell them that the bed is theirs and they've got free Wi-Fi, free internet, they've got TV, and they keep questioning you, are you sure that this is all mine? And then they come in and they have their table and chairs, they have their welcoming package here, and then when they get to the bathroom, they're absolutely in shock that they have a private bathroom because they have a private shower. Just think about not showering in private for years and years Anything that they need to start out in their home is waiting for them in their new home. So to you, this might just look like a mailbox. For my residents, it has been absolutely life-changing. But this is where they can start their social security. They can get checks. They can hear from their family if they find their family. So this is an important piece of their life that they've never had. So as all of you know, we love to celebrate our birthdays, right? It's really a big thing in families. So here, we try to do it for all of our residents. So we always put our birthdays up on our board so everybody can be recognized because you know how important it is to be recognized? Well, I'm excited to show you our coffee bar room. This was started after we had had COVID for so many months and we wanted to get the residents to coming back downstairs and getting them involved in things so they come down here they talk about sports but you walk in the door in the mornings and you can just hear laughter and you know that there's life in the building and you know that the friendships and the community has been built we started out here uh, before started the renovation with our homeowners not quite wanting us to be here they didn't know what we were. They thought we were a shelter. They thought we were transitional. They couldn't understand it. Came in light to us that maybe we should hold a grand opening for them, not for anyone else. We're gonna welcome the whole neighborhood in here. And when we did, it was a revelation to them to see the rooms. 
to hear about our case managers, how it was a wraparound system, how they could live here forever if they wanted to. 